Well, welcome along to the channel. Thanks for joining me today on a lovely day today on another review. And today I'm on the Forza, the Honda Forza 750. The DC, it's DCT this one as well. So it's got the dual, um, the dual clutch control, very smooth. It's actually my second attempt at this video. Uh, yeah, down to the old GoPro, unfortunately, uh, had all the footage, uh, no audio. Zilch. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Honda kindly let me uh, take it out again to bring you this review today. So uh, yeah, anyway, yes, the 750cc parallel twin Honda Forza 750. Very, very comfortable. Got my feet forward in a lovely riding position. Uh, you can actually have them tucked back here if you like, and in the normal scooter sort of um, position or forward. Currently in um, standard mode, got this lovely TFT, color, full colour TFT dash there, which I love, I, I, I think it's up there with one of the better ones to be fair, very crisp, you know, there's lots of sun glare today, uh, it's another really reason, another good reason uh, coming out, you know, when the, when the sun's out, it's always nice anyway, but you get, you get, you know, to see everything, you know, there's no glare on the, on the, on the, uh, TFT there, so we're in standard mode at the moment. To change modes, you have to just lay the close the throttle and move it over. So you've got rain, user, which is the customizable one, sport. Yeah, we like a bit of sport. There you go. And all you're doing is just hitting this mode button here. Very responsive on the throttle. It's got the uh, ride by wire throttle, I believe, on this one as well. Very nice keyless, or they call it the smart key which I've got the key in my pocket, so no issues there. Obviously you just saw me start it up there, it's literally just um, pressing that button there in the centre. Oh, a lot of mud in the road there. Nice attention to detail on this as well. Little Honda uh, badges and very nice. Right, where should we go? I think we'll go straight over and get a little bit of a uh, mixture of all sorts. So what I'll do, we'll see how she rides. We we'll talk a little, but I will pull over and I'll give you a walk around of the bike in the usual sort of manner. But yeah, very nice, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. I'm very impressed, really. I mean, this should make an all-round good commuter bike. Um, I believe heated grips you can have as a, a, a genuine accessory from Honda. I believe there's also aftermarket ones, which will probably be a little bit cheaper. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're probably looking at about another £300 thereabouts for heated grips. But don't quote me on that one. Um, button cluster. Yeah, and the usual Honda button cluster. So on this on this side, you've got the mode button that I just showed you, the cursor there. Uh, usual indicators. And your, your, your plus and your minus there, if you've got it in manual, I think you can override it, actually. And, you know, even when it's in automatic, you can override it and knock it down. But very very comfortable this it's not a very high high seat height on this uh, but it is fairly wide so when you you know I find when you put your legs down on this you uh, you kind of I'm a, I'm a little bit tiptoey and I'm five foot seven uh, uh, with a you know 32 inch leg suspension yeah it's not bone shaking me it's sort of uh, fairly comfortable Very nice, very nice indeed. We'll check the brakes out actually. Nothing behind to worry about. Very good, yeah. Stopping down the gears then as well actually when I do it automatically. I'll try the rear brake. Yeah, very good, very good. Can't moan there at all. It's also got a handbrake arrangement here as well if you can see this, this little lever. We will try that out in a bit. Um, for when you park the bike up, um, be quite handy that as long as you don't forget it's on <laughs> and we won't be doing any handbrake turns as well either today <laughs> uh, the, the screen there seems to be doing a fairly good job although we're only at low speeds at the moment I believe the screen is non-adjustable so it's a fixed screen today on this and yeah not getting any any sort of major wind although it is at eye level this which is a little bit any negative review it's a little bit uh 
mind you if I lean back slightly you can get in more of a relaxed ride mode. I'll sort of look over the top of it but very crisp screen there it's got all the information you need here the, the rev counter here the time at the top there um, temp, outside temperature all the rider modes uh, fuel gauge there nice and visible here yeah, all the information you need there. I believe this hasn't done many miles, so I'm not going to be going mad on it because it's still in the running in process. Yeah, those brakes are very good, very good indeed. Oh, that's my feet on the floor, but I like so I am tiptoes. And off we go. Yeah, very comfortable yeah anyway on the sorry on the button cluster I didn't mention this side you've got obviously your cart your kill switch and your start button there uh, you've also got here uh, your manual and automatic button and uh, your neutral and your drive button here on the side there very nice indeed very nice like I say, it's overall very comfortable to ride very nice looks like it's got also it's got the, um, the separate function forks here as well by Shower. So no expense spared there. I believe they're non-adjustable though. When I say separate function, what I mean is, is you've got one fork working against the other one. So I believe one does the compression and one does the rebound. It's got the pre-link, pre-link, uh, pre-link is it? Pro-link, sorry, pro-link mono shock uh, rear suspension on the, yeah, on the rear there, I believe with 120 millimeters of travel. I believe that's adjustable for preload. That'll be tucked away and un under all of this plastic, I think, so we won't get to see that. Not that it's anything exciting anyway, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> but there you go, there you go. I'll knock it down a gear and... Oh! Certainly seems to spring into life when you get above uh, sort of four and a half, five thousand RPM there. Although, like I say, we are running it in. I want to go a little easy. Wait until we get round this corner and I'll uh, wind it on a bit more. Yeah, very comf comfortable in the feet forward position. Got the wind blowing up my, uh, up my jeans, which is quite nice. Quite refreshing. <laughs> yeah, very nice. It's actually, you know, it's like, uh, uh, it's, it's so effortless to ride this. And also I believe, which, which would be very useful for the, learner, for the new rider of this, this can be converted to the A2, I think it's 33 kilowatt maybe, I've got that figure in my head. Anyway, A2 restricted license, so if you pass your A2 test, Honda can uh, restrict this to, uh, down to 33 brake horsepower I believe. And uh, and then when, you've, when you're ready uh, after your period, you can uh, have it removed. Very nice, that slowed down a tad actually. I'll say, stay tuned and we'll pull over and we'll, uh, I'll do a walk around the bike and I'll run through the specs and uh, I want to make sure I get them right, slow down. Um, it's got also two little buttons here as well which we'll fiddle with in a bit. One there for your fuel cap and one there to release the seat. I believe under the seat it's got a USB power socket and room for a helmet and your sandwiches. <laughs> We will stick some fuel in as well, see what she's like to fuel up. Never should be, never really a problem, but... Yeah, we'll pull over in a minute and we'll have a wander around. But yeah, I think this this display is one of the better ones. It's very, very, very crisp. You can get screen protectors and uh, anti-glare screens, which, which also do a very, very good job. Um, oh. Can't feel any of that weight, really. Not, no self-cancelling indicators here, so I, I, I'm a sod, I need to remember to turn them off. <laughs> so you got your, rather than having your button, which is normally be in front there for your lights on the button cluster, um, I know I keep talking about different things, but it's where, when I notice it, um, you've got this one on the top here with the button cluster where normally you'd have it on the front there, but obviously we, we've got the change up uh, gear selector there, your, uh, your, your plus and your minus if you like like your paddle shifts as such finger shifts, whatever you want to call them <laughs> it's 
seat's a little bit hard, but it's got a little, uh, yeah, no, I'm, there's no issues with it. I know I say it's a little bit hard, but it's not, it's not uncomfortable. I don't know what it'd be like on a, on a long commute or I think it'd be all right, but good visibility through the mirrors. No major vibration there. Although I've got my camera slightly in the way of that one, but that's, that's my fault. Um, we can move that in a bit actually. But yeah, I, I, what a perfect day today to come out and uh, review the uh, the Honda Forza 750. Like, so I've been asked, was asked, actually asked by one of the sub sub subscribers uh, who were interested in um, you know my my views on the bike, um, and I was disappointed because I, like I said earlier, I had already been out and done the review, so. I couldn't not do it again. I had to do it again, as promised. So, if you got, if you want me to take anything out, or you got any ideas, feel free. Let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to uh, to jump on one where, where you know whenever I can. I'm looking to get plenty more reviews to the channel, plenty more models, not just Honda, uh, not just you know. I like to take out a lot of Triumphs, which is uh, always a pleasure. And yeah, thanks Honda today for letting me uh, take this bike out again for the, uh, actually for the second time. So I did apologise, but they were fairly understandable. Um, it's a shame really, because I did have some really good footage. You know, you put a lot, you can put a lot of effort into the videos and get, you know, get some good footage and audio and just to lose it is a bit, it's a bit disheartening. Anyway, I'm not going to grumble about that. It's probably not going to be the, the, uh, the last time. Sorry, we're behind a learner, learner driver here, so anyway, we're going to pull over, actually I'll pull over just up here and we'll, uh, I'll give you a, a, a walk down, a walk around of the bike. I'm pulling at this pub here, I'm not going to get a pint actually, it's closed, but, <laughs> or a shandy. We'll pull over here in the sun, the sun behind us in the middle here. And we'll see what she's like. Turn the old indicator off to stop the bike. I think you turn it that way. Yeah, there you go. Side stand, very easy. Yeah, it's got a centre stand on here as well. Oh, we've got the handbrake. We'll pull the handbrake on. Jump off and uh, yeah, have a look. Very nice. Well, there she is anyway. Oh, you can see where the handbrake activates on this disc here. Oh, getting hot. Uh, yeah, it clamps onto here by the look of it with this cable. So quite straightforward, simple design by the look of that. And uh, yeah, very nice. Very nice, not bad at all. Right, I'll get the other camera and I'll run through the specs. Let's take the gloves off. Right, so here we have it. The 2021 Honda Forza 750cc which is a liquid cooled eight valve single overhead cam parallel twin and that's all going to be tucked away under there you can't really see any of the engine uh, it's giving you almost 60 brake horsepower at 6,000 6,750 rpm and 70 newton meters of torque at 4,750 rpm which is a fair old uh, amount, amount of uh, power and torque really for uh, you know a, a scooter to be honest yeah so yeah, anyway, it's a six-speed DCT gearbox. Um, like I say, you can be toned down this bike for an a, as a A2 license, uh, and then converted back when a, when, you know when ready uh, to your full full power. It's actually claiming a top speed of 110 miles per hour, which yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, as long as that screen works okay and uh, yeah, you know, keeps the wind off you. Uh, very good. Yeah, very good. Uh, as far as brakes go, we've got the, these are the front brakes here, so you've got 310 millimeter uh, dual discs uh, with a radial mounted four pot piston uh, Nissan calipers. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, this bike's also got the Bridgestone um, uh, Sport Touring tyres on there as well. So, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, the rear brakes, what we got on the rear? Uh, the rear brakes were 240 millimeter single disc uh, with a one pot caliper there Nissan, Nissan again so yeah nice uh, alloy swinging on there yeah all very tidy all very tidy 
rear wheels are 15 inch there uh, 15 inch wheel cast alloy by the look of that and the front the front wheels are 17 inch there's your side stand tucked under there so uh, also yeah the uh, suspension actually we'll do the rear while we're here so the, the rear suspension you can see under there just about uh, just above the side stand there uh, is um, yeah mono shock uh, with a pro link um, yeah swing and arm uh, with 120 mi millimeters of travel like I said earlier actually uh, what we got on there here then front suspension like I said is uh, the Shoa upside down fork separate function SSF separate function forks here again with 120 millimeters of stroke or travel whatever way you want to call it yeah the weight of the bike actually <coughs> is 235 kilograms I'm not too sure if that's the wet weight or the dry, dry weight it didn't actually specify so yeah let's have a look around this side of the bike very nice all LED lights all round on this as well and we'll have a look at them in a minute so uh, seat height 790 millimeters so not not majorly high but like I say it is a very wide bike there so uh, for me myself <laughs> and I <laughs> Uh, yeah, my feet sort of struggle to touch the... Well, no, I don't struggle, but I'm tiptoes on the ground there. Like I say, it's not the height of the seat, it's the width of the bike. Um, the price is starting, it's claiming on the, on the Honda website, 9999 um, It says, I think it's from that, I'm not too sure. It, you know, there is four other colours available. Um, this one being the graphite black. Uh, they do, yeah, th uh, four colours, so it's candy, chromosphere, red. Uh, matte beta silver metallic and the jeans blue metallic I quite like the jeans blue metallic with Honda to be honest but yeah all in all very nice very comfortable uh, it's got the keyless smart or the smart keys so I've got the key in my pocket um, what I'll do actually is uh, turn on the on the bike here there you go just press that button there nice display there so we should actually have the daytime running lights on now as well probably can't see very well with the sun glare but yeah I quite like those uh, you know the orange lights there as well it's quite nice that what else what other information have I got for you um, I also I believe they make this in a 125cc and a 300 so uh, yeah not bad not bad Let's have a little look in the little play with here then. So two buttons on here, one for the fuel cap, no problems there. Another button there with the seat, I just heard a click. Oh yeah, it's on a, on a strut. Uh, nice little toolkit in there. Room for a helmet as well and your, your sandwiches, plenty of room for your sandwiches or uh, you know your, your food. Uh, looks like there's a little USB-C by the look of that type socket there so yeah plenty of room under there for your shopping and like I say there is a little um, gas strut here oil strut whatever you want to call it um, so it did just sort of spring spring up on its own really and just push it down to lock it looks like it'd be nice and comfortable on the rear there for the pillion pass passenger nice handrails grab rails there and pegs very nice what else can I say uh, exhaust exhaust yeah never really the prettiest uh, in this day and age what the Euro 5 uh, compliance is it <laughs> but there you go you know it's uh, sounds sounds quite you know when you start opening it up it actually sounds quite um, quite beefy and what this well, a little little um, glove box to put uh, compartment there as well which is handy yeah very nice indeed very nice not too ugly really what else can I say uh, yeah a little badge on there dual clutch transmission yeah okay I think we should jump back on and ride some more then like I say uh, while we're here we'll just have a quick look at the dash uh, it's actually got a, a indicator there to say that the, the side stands down so yeah very nice very nice indeed Oh, I see with the lights you just put pull it down for main beam push it up for full beam and if you want it to flash there you go 
no problem. Horn. Uh, where's the horn? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Brake fluid, brake brake fluid rev reservoirs here because obviously the front and the uh, sorry the rear and the front brakes are on here, which is quite. Uh, takes takes some getting used to after you've rode a bike with gears and a clutch because you're you're actually not doing anything other than uh, just using the throttle and the brakes really. Okay, well there you have it, the Honda Forza 750. So I think we should jump back on uh, have a have, have a little ride some more. Yeah, that handbrake has got a good old grip there with the rear wheel. Here you, you ain't going to be moving that anywhere. So anyway, side stand up, <sighs> gloves on, and we'll ride some more. Handbrake off. Eyes are down. Here we go. It's in neutral at the moment, so if you hit this button here, drive. Put it into sport mode, actually. Uh, mode, rain, use that's the customizable one. Sport, standard, rain, user, sport. Okay, okay. So it tells you on here all of your power, so it's full power on sport. EB is engine braking. Uh, D is your drive, uh, driving the track, T is your traction control. So, nice gear indicator there as well. Here we go, nice and easy. There's a bit of gravel here actually. So I'm going to go nice and easy. I'm not going to put my feet up, just a little bit of trail braking on the rear brake there. Hey, lovely. Oh, that's so hot today. I sound 27 degrees there. <laughs> Which is, uh, yeah, it's very hot today. Okay, here we go. We'll ride some more. I'll say you can just sit back and back and enjoy the ride on this. It would be nice to have a cruise control function as well. <laughs> it would be nice. Not sure if it's available as a, uh, available as an accessory from Honda. Not too sure. Whew, very warm. I quite like the foot, the feet forward riding position as well. It's quite nice. Nice and relaxed. Like I say, there's no vibes. Like I said earlier, there's no vibes through the bars or anything. Obviously, there's no uh, no foot pegs, so. You, can't comment on that. <laughs> yeah, overall a very pleasant pleasant bike, pleasant machine. Well, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in anything motorcycle related, there's lots more coming. So hit this hit the old subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Be much appreciated. And if you are, you know, can you let me know in the comments, could you see yourself riding one of these or you know maybe test riding one or you know let me know. I'll have a little ride along here where the roads are a bit more twisty and a little bit more, I can wind it on a bit more. Very tight this bend here, so very tight. It's a good test. Little bit of trial braking on the brake there to get up, just control the speed a bit. Indicator off. Oh, lovely. National speed speed limit there, so very smooth. This very smooth. Very impressed, Honda. You've done a good job. I say, I um, don't think I discussed the miles per gallon, but can't remember the exact figures for the MPG off the top of my head but very nice very nice indeed very enjoyable ride today like I say this weather can ask for a better day today with the weather again got a bit of a heat wave at the moment so uh, can't grumble at all hello <laughs> Yeah, when the revs get to about 4,000, you open it up. That does that exhaust does sort of make a lot more of a <laughs> more of a a deep deep sounding roar. It's quite happy plodding along though. Like I say, the top speed is they said they're claimed about 110 mile an hour. So I don't know what it would be like doing those sorts of speeds, but I don't know where you'd actually do those sorts of speeds. It's not a track machine, is it? That'd be good fun though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hello, we've got a traffic uh, tractor in front of us here. He's actually lick, licking along for a change. It's not hanging about, is he? The obviously one thing what it does, uh, you know, takes some getting used to, which doesn't take a lot, but you know, you 
you kind of uh, you're not changing gear with your foot or you know your brake levers you're doing nothing with your feet nothing at all uh, no clutch required it's very smooth you know the, the, the dual clutch control I think they got that down to a T really um, yeah so it is purely just exact uh, throttle rear brake front brake you know and it, it's quite refreshing nice little um, support on your on your the, the, your lower back there as well in the seat it's very very nice I'm quite impressed really uh, I'm quite fortunate you know to ride all of these different models of bikes and that but I don't think we've gone too far wrong really if you know if, that, if this is the the sort of thing you're looking for Mark you know if you're in the market for a kind of um well they're they're, they're scooters on steroids aren't they <laughs> that's what they are um but yeah it's not intimidating to ride nice and smooth you know look it's not it's in sport mode as well as no you know it's not glitchy it's not snatchy is the word not glitchy it's not snatchy on the throttle uh, nice and smooth through the gears low speed not a problem N not a problem you know it's quite a bumpy section of road here sometimes you get on a you know a bike with a bit of a snatchy throttle you, you kind of you know it gets very jolty um, but no not with this it's got the ride by wire throttle as well I believe so you know can't grumble at all it's got some acceleration as well to it she don't hang about <laughs> oh turn the indicator off I say no self cancelling indicator so <laughs> oh, oh. I'm a sod for leaving them on. So I don't have to worry about that on uh, my own personal bike because uh, they are set up to turn off. Right, well, like I say, I'll uh, see what she's like to fuel up, stick some fuel in, and uh, see what that's all about. Okay, let's pull in. Grab some fuel. storage stand cut the engine out there so uh, we'll turn it off you just twist this that's turned it off there turn the bike off while we refuel and uh, yeah press the old release there cap off and unlet it there we go I don't know if I'm going to get a lot in there, like I say, it's, the tank is fairly full anyway, but I don't like to not take the, not put any fuel in really. Yeah, I'm not going to get a lot in there at all, well look at it. Wow. Yeah, like I say, the bike was fairly full anyway, so squeeze a bit more in. Yeah, I'm not going to get a lot in there. Okay. Maybe if the bike's on the centre stand it might you might be able to squeeze some more in but Okay. Yeah, no problems with the refuel, no problems at all. Cap back in. Sorted. Yeah, the old handbrake function is useful because I uh, just got back on the bike, I didn't actually put the handbrake on and uh, it did start rolling rolling back so my bad for not using it but it is there you can just grab it and I don't think you can pull away with it on we'll have a, we'll have a look uh, it might just what the bike might not even start there could be like a little um little switch there to prevent that you can't it's in the way of the button so you wouldn't actually uh, well put it in, yeah it's in the way I'm not even gonna try that you, you'd be silly you wouldn't you know you can't really be uh, you know, leaving that on, can you? Okay, well that's the refuel. No problems at all.
Well anyway, yeah, thanks for joining me today, it's much appreciated. And like I say, something a little bit different today. Um bit of a dodgy corner here actually. My mistake. Yeah, thanks for joining me today, much appreciated. And uh, if you like I say, stay tuned to the channel. <laughs> And uh, like I say, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. So uh, hope you've enjoyed the review today. Take care and see you soon.